Hello everybody. Um this is a video this is just an update video. I'm just gonna be talking about a few things about this channel and like why I haven't been uploading lately and what I plan to do. Anyways, the reason why I haven't been uploading on this channel lately, Jobin VHS, and this is Jobin videos obviously, is because um well the software that I used to use to rip my DVD files had stopped working a few months ago. It always asks for an update, and one day I did an update, and anytime I try to get the files off the DVD, it says there's the files are empty, and it just skips. But I used to what I did is exactly the same thing I used to do before, and my, none of my DVDs are empty. I never used to do that. It's I don't know why it started doing that. So now we have to look for a different software, and I haven't found another one. Well, RetroSkull is what helps me find these softwares, because I don't really know anything about that kind of stuff, really. He did send me a link to a software on Christmas that was free for that day, but I never got around to install downloading it, so now I have to wait. Um... And I lost my motivation to even upload videos on this channel because, I mean, the views on this channel are so low. Um, it's always the same thing over and over and over again for 30 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes, 90 minutes, the same thing. Like, when I watch the videos, I realize how much I did the same thing over and over again. It's, like, weird, kind of. Like, always the same thing. Like, there was times where I did two 115-minute tapes every day of just the Halloween room. Just two tapes of 150. That's a lot of... That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> and it's... I mean, yeah, throughout the videos, there's always new stuff coming in and there's always stuff coming out because stuff breaks and then it was never seen again in some footage so yes there's always some and sometimes even though it looks like it's the same thing there's something within this 115 minutes or 30 minutes that there that's the only footage there's there's a short few minutes of something in that footage that's not in any other footage so like it's something you kind of have to watch but no one's going to watch 115 minutes of something that looks like it's exactly the same as all my other videos to see something that might be a little different. I don't know. You know, like I said, I just kind of, but that's the point. I'm, I, the channel, the idea for this channel was to upload the full videos of these because I kind of, on my Jobian videos a few years ago, would record the things that I liked the most uh, on a TV screen and then uploaded them to the, my channel that way. But that now I have, now I, I ended up getting a software where I was in a DVD scratch remover that was able to help me do this channel. And another reason why I had lost motivation is because there was always DVDs that I wanted to upload so bad. And the ones that I've always wanted to upload are the ones that are missing and I can't find anymore. Like there was one with Austin in it. Like that was the very first TV that ever got scratched. I could not watch it on anything. I tried that stupid toothpaste trick that everyone was trying to make videos of back then on how to fix, fix your discs and that never worked. This machine that I got does work. Um, but the thing is, by the time I got, I can't find that DVD anymore. I had it for years. I always kept it because I'm like, you know, someday, someday they're going to make something where you can fix this stuff. And now I can't find it. So I feel like maybe at some point I'm like, you know what? Never mind. It's never going to be fixed. I don't know if I threw it away. I highly doubt it. I ever, I never let throw things away, but I just don't know what happened. There was my 12th birthday DVD. I had two friends over and I had a lot of footage on that. I can't find that either. I never got that one finalized either. There's about four DVDs I have that are not finalized, which means you can't retrieve the footage that are on those DVDs. And the VHS DVD system that I use to put those tapes onto DVD don't exist anymore. They haven't for years. So there's no way for me to finalize those DVDs. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that because there's probably some footage on those that I don't even know about. There was also a time where I was recorded the Christmas stuff at Walmart in 2007. I looked through every DVD three times. I couldn't find it. And I know I had it, but I don't know which DVD it was on. I look, Like I said, I, I even organized all my DVDs in order from start to finish. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in any of the DVDs that I know that it would have been in. So I'm missing DVD. 
throughout the years, I, I guess I started missing DVDs. That was probably when I didn't get finalized either, for all I know. I don't know what happened to some of these DVDs. So there's probably a good six DVDs that are missing, four that I have right now that aren't finalized. So I don't know if those DVDs will ever be found. Probably not. <laughs> and like I said, that kind of put me down for... Because it was all, it's the ones that I really wanted to upload that I can't upload because I don't know where the, what happened to the DVD of that now. I don't know. Anyways, what I could do is I, I mean, what I was doing was I was actually uploading my videos in order pretty much. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore because now that I don't have a software to upload my VHS footage, you know how I, when I started this channel, I started the... I started with 2009 footage. That that footage is was taken on a digital camera. I used a separate software for that one. So that software more than likely still works. So I guess if I wanted to upload content on here, I could just upload more 2009 content if I wanted to. I don't know if I'd remember how to work the software though because it's been a long time since I've used it. Um, another thing is back in 2009, I had so much 2009 footage that was put on. Back then, we had a family computer. We didn't all have our own laptops. This was back in 2009. And I back then, you couldn't upload videos on YouTube that were longer ten, than 10 minutes. Even if it was 10 minutes and 10 seconds, it, you couldn't do it. There was a lot of videos I took that did not make it to DVD or on YouTube. And one day that hard drive and that computer went out and those that footage was gone. Like I had footage of my Halloween room in 2009 with, with my spirit and all my floating ghosts. Like I had like family members over and they were looking at the room. That was the only footage of 2009 I had with both spirit Halloween and all my Halloween stuff at the time. So that footage is gone. There was what that footage where I showed the wild witch was in her box. We were getting ready to send it back. That didn't go on YouTube because that was over 10, minute, 10 minutes. There was a crawling army man video I remember I did when I first got my, when I got my five for my birthday that year. I did a video and that was just a little over 10 minutes. That one rejected because it was too long. So like I said, I had a, I had a two hour long Chuck E. Cheese video. I didn't pause the camera or anything. I just, it was the same songs that we always heard. Hot Sauce, SPF, all those summer songs that they played all the time. And those, obviously, it was, that was two hours, so obviously that couldn't be uploaded. And like I said, all those I never got put on DVD either. So there's been many footage that has been lost over the years that never that will never be found or seen ever again, unfortunately. And like I said, it's a lot of stuff that I really wish I could see again because it's always the good footage that goes away. And it, it's always the footage that's the same thing over and over again that stays. <laughs> there was also once a time where my dad had his own little digital purple video camera. He was recording one time. He came into my Halloween room. This was 2010. If he still had this footage, this would be my only 2010 footage on this channel because my, my everything I started uploading every video to YouTube in 2010s by 2010. So that this channel wouldn't be any, but. He was recording uh, on his little purple camera. He came into my Halloween room. That's when I had Resurrection Mary, Demonica, and a few other sphere props. And then I do have, uh, I did upload two of the videos he took on that camera. It was Halloween 2010, where he was recording my stuff in the garage. It's called Halloween 2010 Party. I get, you can type that in, <laughs> Joey. Um, but I would have, if I still had the footage, I would have added all three of those clips together. And I asked if he still had the footage he took on that camera, and he didn't even know what I was talking about. It, that, it's been so long. Like, I told him, R remember the time you recorded my Halloween stuff with your purple camera? And he's like, no. I'm like, he was like it had an adjustable lens. He's like, no. I, are you sure it was purple? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it was purple. He did not remember. I'm like, Ugh. So, and I was like, well, you got to look on those DVDs. I said, you never put them on DVDs as far as I know. That I, I was just wondering if you still had the footage because he's had laptops that the hard drives have went out before too. So knowing my luck, it was probably put on those. Like by the time 2000, like 11 came around, we all had our own computers. But of course, the hard drives always went on out on all of them multiple times. I used to bookmark every Halloween video that every video and website I watched. I used to be like Donovan. I used to save everything. But then one day it just all disappeared. <laughs> 
So yeah.